Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. In this video, we're going to show you the process for dividing postings on a folio by creating one or more incidental folios. Here we have an in-house guest folio. He's traveling on business and at check-in presented a government-issued card, but now realizes he'll also have some charges he must pay for himself. The Divide Postings drop-down arrow on the posting toolbar offers us two options. New, which allows us to divide all future postings among multiple folios, and Move Items, which lets us move transactions that have already been posted. I'll show an example of each. Let's start by selecting the New option. Cloud PM now wants to know for future postings which department codes should go to which folio. This half lists your hotel's department groups, and this one has the individual department codes. Notice the folio column? They're all assigned to folio A since we haven't moved anything yet. We can assign any department code or group to folio letters A through F. Mr. Lightyear says his employer won't pay for long distance or movie charges, so I'll change those two department codes to folio B, save, and close the divide postings window. On the left side, we have a series of tabs. These are the various folios. On the right, we have a column with the folio letter for each posting. Currently, we're on the All tab. In other words, it's all postings from all tabs put together. Clicking a tab displays only the transactions for that particular folio letter. We haven't moved any charges yet, so all postings are still on the A folio, but any new long distance or movie charges will automatically post to folio B. Now we need to add the guest's personal method of payment to the B folio. To do this, click Payments on the posting toolbar. The A folio has the company card. We'll add the guest's American Express card to the B folio. To enter the guest's credit card, click this ellipsis button by the account field. Cloud PM asks if we want to use an existing card or enter a new card. We'll select New Card. That brings up the authorized credit card window. I'll enter an amount to authorize for incidentals. Click Activate Card Reader, then swipe the card on the Secure CloudPay Card Reader. Now that we're back to the folio, we see the guest's personal credit card is on the B folio and has authorization to cover incidentals. In this example, Mr. Lightyear has charged a couple of items already, so now let's see how to move charges that have already been posted. From the Divide Postings drop-down, this time I'll select Move Items. This allows us to change the folio letter of any existing posting. We just need to highlight the charges we want to move, change the folio letter, in this case we're moving these items to the B folio, and click Save on the posting toolbar. What if we make a mistake or need to turn off Divide Posting? There are two options in the Divide Postings window. Restore Defaults, which stops dividing future postings but doesn't move any existing postings, and Consolidate, which puts everything back on one folio. By the way, Divide Postings can be set up in advance any time after the reservation is booked. It's not necessary to wait until the guest checks in or to have the guest's method of payment. Once you set up the incidental folio, all charges will post to the correct folio after the guest checks in. Thank you for taking the time to view this video. Please feel free to contact your account manager or our customer support center for additional questions.